Welcome to Rootstem Gaming, and this is Painting Hive Fleet Behemoth. As usual with my painting videos, uh, I've started by basing the entire figure in black, and since the, uh, the carry paste for this unit's in black anyway, it makes it a lot easier to paint. Now, I've gone ahead and done Bestial Brown, or Rhinox Hide, uh, as its modern terminology is called. I've done that into the fleshy parts. I've also done the ribcage in the uh, colouring. I've done that already off camera because, again, it's more of a base coating, so it's not more technique that I should really be showing you because, of course, it's just simple. Uh, you can do it with a brush or you can do it with uh, your airbrush. Uh, I may have overlapped a little bit on some of the black pieces, but we are going to be coating them with black again anyway, uh, mainly to give it a, a beetly like glossy sheen. Um, in, well, in, in future steps. So the next stage then, it's gonna be corn red, and we know where this is going. Getting that colour, the colour that we want, and uh, I'm gonna let that dry, see if it needs another blast, and then I'm gonna hit it with some dry brush of, uh, I think it's Evil Sun Scarlet, no, no, Mephiston and Red. I'm gonna go with Feast and Red, not Evil Suns, I'm wanting just to lighten it a bit, not a lot, it's a dark red colour, it's a very dark colour scheme. Let's see what I can do. So next step on the lovely Tyranid figure, I'm going to hit it with some Feasting Red. I'm only going to hit it lightly, I'm not going to hit it loads, just again trying to figure out which angle, of course the sun always comes down, so just trying to hit it with an angle, not, nothing massive, nothing major, just going to give it a nice little highlight.
getting there. The, the red is now sort of emulating that BMOF style red. And I think I'm just going to go now and start painting in the, uh, the black. So red's kind of done. I may put a bit of a dryer brush and a, a wash on there. But I've also gone and done the black. So I've painted over the black. With, so just your standard sort of black or whatever black that you wanted to use. Uh, the hands are mainly going to be a bone and I'm going to apply a blue, like a really dark blue over it. Um, I'm not, uh, sort of the bmof sort of colours which this is emulating is not really come across as being very, um, there you go. It's not come across as being like your standard white, it mainly goes into blue territory. Um, so I'm probably going to use the Cantor as a base and then take it from there. think you're gonna catch something always get a bit of a protective shield out just grab one like this -da. that way when you're painting down from a certain angle you're not gonna catch items you don't want to be all right for a momentary shading as you can see it's kind of done I'll come back to that later we're going to crack on with some more airbrushing now. So next I'm going to go with some Talan sand yeah I have to double check <laughs> and I'm going to be effectively going into the feet and the uh, the bony uh, sort of appendages And then after the Talan sand, I've gone and dry brushed a uh, Tyrant Skull onto the actual weapons, as you can see. And that's come out nicely. I've gone and done the face. Um, just so you can do the teeth whatever colour you want and the eyes whatever colour you want. I'm about to do the base, but of course I just do my generic standard basing. And uh, that's mainly just using uh, some form of BCO Brown or whatever it's called, Rhinoxide. That's it. Um, with uh, a lighter brown and then a dry brush retirement skull on top with some grass normally. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. I'll move my uh, cleaning thing out of the way. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button for more. Uh, there should also be a Patreon up and running at the moment. And if we can get 100 subscribers on Patreon, I'm actually going to have a prize draw for a uh, root stem painted uh, Blood Angels Primaris Captain. Uh, which I'll send out to you in the post once we've selected, once we reach that particular goal. Probably take me ages. <laughs> I'm not popular. I'm not a young lady with boobs out. Uh, so <laughs> I'll probably not get a lot of subscribers. 
But if we do hit that goal, we do reach that goal. Uh, we're not going to goals themselves are not going to be that great, but they're not going to cost that much. So check it out. The link for that should be below. And of course, I'm always on Twitch.tv forward slash Rootstem Gaming, and you can buy a T-shirt from Teespring. Uh, just hit Rootstem Gaming in the search bar. Thanks very much, guys. Um, you should be able to see a picture when this rolls out. See you again next time.